Today is May 25th, 23. A year ago tomorrow, like I said, and the lady will show up at KFC. My phone's tapped from that case that agent opened. Um, the shower scene was done on purpose, blah, 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 running her mouth. Well, they sold the login to the protective custody case that retired Judge P. You know there was a girlfriend uh, in Maslin. Um, he had in March of 18, one of the set of mean parents. Does he think he, it's funny bringing her here? And then the human trafficker uh, kidnapper showed up. And they're the ones in the drug cartel. Okay. I bet that's Jack. For him and Jack have this plan. Do you know, my hair, I took pictures of it. My part started widening really bad and thinning out. And I even took pictures of it. They were probably poisoning me. Because my hair was, it took a couple years to go, grow back in between here. It's all filled back in. But it was all the way thin, all the way through here. And it started right after that. They were probably poisoning me. I was in Akron today. Down from my clients, I found I, I finally seen the cop with the clipboard. While I was working, went to get something out of my vehicle. said um we already know everything was photoshopped before we had already talked to our family they didn't know anything about it and he said it's people still saying stuff to her he said yeah they were trying to say weird and all this other stuff he said all that was photoshopped and he said do you think that agent defrauded her he said they already called us and told us there was no excuse for any of this he had no right to even look at those tapes they're fraud, they're done by stalkers. It's illegal for him to look, just like Officer Reinhardt Louisville said in the Portage County Sheriff's. They're done by a stalker. He didn't arrest him for stalking me? Watching me alone in my house? Huh? Taking pictures of me in the shower? And sex trafficking? Sex trafficking videos of me and Dave in bed? Photoshopping a shower scene, anybody can Photoshop anything. I heard another new version that they have out of the shower scene I'm washing. They said they have me walk around the house doing it now. It's sick what they're doing and all the things they're Photoshopping. And they, he said, no one's to say anything to her. We already know everything was photoshopped before. We're at the Oakland apartment. Everything was dropped in Photoshop before December 9, 21. The white man, bald, dark guys, distributing food at the Star County Hunger Task Force on 9th Street. December 9, 21. There's only four or five volunteers camp found them. We always knew the tapes before were them and not her, so we never said a word. They both talked to the camp and police. My client on Shuffler Church Road in a bar. March of 22, retired Judge P, drugged and photoshopped everything and made everything up on her. She talked to the camp police too. And then there's the January 1922 Department of Disability. They told them I was drugged and told to say it before. February 2nd, 22, Burlington Coat Factory, drugged and told to say it before. March 24, 22, 1133, Department of Police for me. They were screaming at each other <clears throat> for framing me. Mm-hmm. And regret it. Hmm? Then the May 12th, 22, they found a tape of them emitting a shower scene in the other room. Hmm? Then November, or, um, I'm going to take that back, uh, May 25th, 21, uh, 6 p.m., Wendy's in Louisville, are the church people breaking in before, drugging me and telling me to say weirdo stuff? Did one of the other Dave's fat girlfriends, a heavy set blonde girl in a blue car comes down on Fairland Street. We all set the goons from Rena. Are you crazy? You can't enter a drug confession. Well, we just found out they drugged her and told her what to say before. They admitted that in 21. 
the Saturday or Sunday about 3 to 6 p.m. afterwards, after May 25th, 21. Okay? 8921, the apartment building for me, second close fence. There's a lady and little kids living there. Little girls. Ran out laughing at me for Dave roofing me, even though he defends me on tape. Where it's getting sick on his drinks, that he had roofed. Them and about four or five neighbors told an officer with a clipboard and a badge a few days later loud enough for everyone to hear that I was drugged and told to say it before 1295. Fairland, you know a bunch of the, they were talking yesterday in Walmart by the bathroom, yelling it out. We already know <clears throat> all those people went to the police. So are you going to say that agent broke a federal law and a constitutional law, the right to privacy, and that Dave hired a stalker? Because I didn't die. That agent knew I was being beat, raped, and drugged. Hmm? He knew I was being human trafficked under drugs. He knew this, right? He knew they were taping my grandchildren in the bathroom and attaining and dispensing kitty porn, right? They were sex trafficking videos of me and Dave in bed. And they were breaking in, date rape dragging me, lying they had sodium pentothal reports so I'd be sleepwalking so they could tell me say something stupid, right? And I had bruises I couldn't explain, throwing up, migraines. They were beating me under drugs. And then I had a personal infection at Davis Land and that retired judge raped me. He was human trafficking me. That agent knew all this, right? Right? He knew all this, right? He knew all this, right? And he didn't rust Dave in that guy. Is that what you're saying? Hmm? Yeah. Choose your words carefully. Oh, for Agent Will? Ha. Huh. I googled. Will can't have FBI task force. It's a short version and a nickname of his last name. His first name was Will. His nickname was Will because it was a short version of his last name. And then somebody had said that they were this one agent hmm, with a really weird last name. I never forgot the last name. I looked it up. He retired in 18. And that other guy that was Will retired in 19. See, that's where the guy in the clipboard, he said they already called us, that it was ridiculous what happened here. And there's no excuse. And he said, it, and if he did do this to defraud, there's never an excuse to defraud anybody. Exactly. So you're going to say he broke a federal constitutional law of the right to privacy over someone's house. Uh-huh, he didn't rust him for stocking. Do you know if you walk around and you're videotaping the same person all the time and just following around doing it? That's stocking. Hmm? Do you know anything can be photoshopped? Like a retired sheriff that's my friend? Anything can be photoshopped. So people that are admitting that they're drugging me up, beating me, raping me, photoshopping seems as nothing. Anybody can Photoshop anything anymore with a right computer. So we're going to talk about that. See, but that agent opened a real case with statements. Had an officer talk to Dave. Had police officers run around, chase off stalkers, and then some idiots run around. It's probably retired Judge P. Telling everybody he's Karen's will. And it's one of Dave's girlfriend's family members. Uh-huh. Telling everybody nobody's allowed to help me. It's sick shit. So you're going to say Dave found a, a prostitute in camp. Her dad's messed up in the drug cartel. Hmm? Drug cartel. Human traffickers. They violated me. Publicly humiliated me. Raped me. Sex traffic videos of me. Drug me. Beat me. Human traffic me. Violated me on every level. But we should get even with her. Right? We should teach her a lesson. 
because she's their victim. Choose your words carefully. There was a guy out there, got arrested not too long ago, had seven victims. Seven! Only knew one. The other ones he went on to Facebook, Instagram, took their pictures, photoshopped them, and then photoshopped them in videos. Tried to extort money. It's called sex extortion. It's a federal crime, 12 years federal prison. I'm telling you, there's cells of those people out there. They'll hate you. These people, you know why they asked him why he did it? He wanted them to hurt like he did inside. He didn't even know those people. I don't know these people. Just because they want to go out and fuck somebody else, you don't destroy the wife and play fatal attraction. They had no right in my home. I had a right to privacy. That FBI agent swore his life over the Constitution. And you're going to say he knew anything of that? I told you. I tried to tell him that he broke battery law. When I tried to tell him someone told on me in a paper, why didn't he ask for the phone number? Huh? Why did he call me a liar when I told him the guy had threatened to knife me at China Eagle? It's a Detroit boy who's kidnapper. Tried to kidnap me in front of Terry. I tried to tell him that. Huh? He already killed Lori's family member. And he went on to take Marlisa's niece and a bunch of other people. Do you know the Marshals just found 35 children in Ohio they had kidnapped? The, de the drug dealers out of this area, human trafficking. My one friend in January 20th or 23, uh, his local police department found 35 people tied up in a railroad car. They're grabbing people out of Ohio for sex slaves and to be murdered. And these people are running around thinking it's funny. And they think they have to get even with the victims. So you're going to say that federal agent that swore his life over the Constitution. And instead of saying, I could never look or listen to this. You had no right in her home. You are, you're going to jail for stalking. Huh? Because these are non-credible uh, tapes. And you've met, you got sodium pentothal, you've been drugging her. And he didn't arrest him. Then no, he was share they were sharing this. And so he decided to defraud a victim? Like that officer said, there's no reason to ever defraud anyone, let alone a victim. See, these people are running around making fun of the drug cartel's victims. They're sick. Wait till they take them or their children. I tell you, they keep selling the login to the protected custody case, that agent open, for people to show up so they can grab you later. Told you, the one girl at the mall kept following me around. They took her to a cat and ATM. You guys, they're playing with hell. These people will hate you because you're happy. They'll hate you because you got cute little kids. They'll take your kids and sell them. They hate everybody. And it's fun destroying people to them. Do you realize that agent purposely let the Detroit Boy's a serial killer getaway. And he's still loose in the serial taking people. And people have died because of his ignorance and neglect. I have told the Director of National Intelligence and I have told the Department of Justice, there, like the guy said, there is no excuse to defraud anybody. And we looked into it and nobody knew about those tapes before. Uh-huh. You know what? That would have made them an accessory. They would have went to jail for having me stopped. See, I'd like to know why that agent didn't do his job. Huh? But he had assigned security team to me. Do you know they were out in Hartville yelling? Is this, those people are retired and that's why nobody cleaned this up? Well, somebody needs to do their job. Hmm? That's where my friend from the prosecutor's office, if they retired, if something happened to them, they're probably sitting in a cold case file. Hmm? Huh? That agent going to say he looked at stocking tapes and fell for a stocking stock? And he broke a federal constitutional laws? 
Is that what he's going to say? Hmm? Is that what he's going to say? Huh? Because he's looking at life in federal, if not execution. Hmm? You do realize that. Where people are making fun of me, people have died over this. I'd like to know. I'd like to know who would be stupid enough. Like Officer Reinhardt said, it'd be legal to look at us. So the Portage County Sheriffs. There was a guy in Trinity Gospel in a suit lecturing the security guards this last Sunday. We already told those people nobody had a right to be in our home. It's illegal to look at us in that stocking tapes because it can always be photoshopped or altered. And these people admitted to drugging me, feeding me, and raping me before. And I was having bruises I couldn't explain. A personal infection. Throwing up, heart racing. And almost passing out. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. And I went to the doctor a lot that summer. They told me I thought they thought I was a neat. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. I want you to think about how sick this is. Now, they were breaking in my home where that guy got 12 years federal prison for cyber stalking people. What is this called? Same thing. It's called sextortion. That agent broke, you're going to say that agent broke federal laws? He already did with that. He obstructed justice and tampered with evidence and tampered with witnesses. He fell for a stocking stunt? Huh? Defrauded a victim? Defrauded the police departments. You know, if they wouldn't have showed up and chased off stalkers and surrounded me, I'd been dead. They hired stalkers to go at me in stores. I almost got shot in the head driving. There's a shooting night. They break into the duplex next door. They said they killed two outside. They're serial killers. The one gang member from Florida cut up an Uber driver and, and cut him in pieces like they, like they did Lori's family. Huh? These people are sick, satanic bastards. And you know what? That girl, she don't even know me. Just because she wanted my house and jewelry, she'd do all this. I told you, those people up in Marvin are pieces of shit. They'll kill you to destroy you because they hurt inside. They want to hurt other people. They want your house. They hate you because you have and they don't. So they're going to destroy you publicly. It's sick shit. And then each and every rest of them. Purposely defrauded a victim. Do you realize how foolish, foolish he makes the FBI look? He opened that case, and where I called down there, I told you I googled off and see was that I found him. Willie Scott list. I'm working on it. And then the other one, where I seen the guy tell the police up there to get a hold of it. We're busy. That guy drove by me yesterday. I've been telling everybody to stay out of this and not help. Him. It could backfire. It's called life in federal. Like the Judge Grower Sheriff said, you can never tell anybody not to help at someone and not to believe them. You go to jail for it. This has been the biggest case of everything going wrong that could that a drug cartel took over and ran. An FBI case. That, he, that agent started and was too neglectful to take care of it. And that retired judge sold the police information he sold FBI information. Everybody that has a login, send it into the police departments, the sheriff's departments, the FBI. They can go back and reroute it back to where they sent it. See, there's a point. These people need stopped, like the other guy in Arvada. There's more cells out there like this. They're too lazy to go get a job. So what they do is extort money out of victims by photoshopping scenes, date rape drugging scenes, and then editing everything. Like that officer said up in Akron, we already know, I caught him, where he told my client's neighbor on Shepler Church Road in Navarre, and they told Ed. I seen him out telling the neighbors not to say anything. They said, well, we already feel bad. We found out one of those girls, their families that were helping out in this, who was dating her a long time before anything started. For him, John
Aber noch